Hey guys, Genesis Moss here, and this week I'm doing a very fun toy review. I am reviewing the OMFG Series 2 and 3 figures, plus two OTMFG figures as well. These guys are so much fun. I was just so happy when I finally got a hold of these guys, and I can't wait to tell you guys all about them, so keep watching. OMFG Series 2 and 3 here are a Kickstarter project from October Toys. They are minifigures that harken back to the days of the Muscle Men line. Each series has five different figures, and they come in different colors, depending on which color and series you want. OMFG stands for Outlandish Minifigure Guys. The Series 2 figures are packaged on a blister card with the OMFG logo right there at the top. I have to say, I love this logo. It has a great retro feel and really makes me think of Rocky Horror Picture Show. Under the logo, the five guys are just crammed into a blister bubble. The back of the package features black and white art of the characters, with their names as well. The characters are very wacky and have names like Cuddlehard, Cryborg, Shirtle, Grimgord, and the Puke Knight. The Series 3 figures are on a different colored blister card with the same logo and packaging style. The five guys in this lot are Dr. Decay, Pugnacious, Barbaronaut, Ten Can, and Fruit Punch. So let's start off by taking a look at Series 2. The Series 2 set that I received were the Glow in the Dark set. Sadly, they were kind of hard to photograph, so I had to take their pictures in low light using only my flash. One thing I should note here is that even though these are minifigures, they are highly detailed and look amazing. Starting off, we have Shirtle. He is a little shark man with a shirt and a turtle shell. He is incredibly cute and has a little shark fin sticking out of his shell. I love it. Next up, there is Cuddlehard. This is one wacky looking guy. It looks as if he was the inspiration for the OMFG logo. He is just a pair of lips with his tongue hanging out of his mouth with legs, arms, and shoulder pads. He looks great. Grimgord is one of my favorites in this line. He looks like one of the ghosts that you would find packaged with the real Ghostbusters toy line. He is an evil looking pumpkin with razor sharp teeth in his grinning mouth and has that evil expression like he's coming to get you. Cryborg here is a baby cyborg, as his name would imply. He is a robotic looking baby with a mechanical rattle and a diaper. Instead of sucking on a bottle, his milk is given to him through tubes coming from a baby bottle attached to his back. Last but not least is my favorite from Series 2, the Puke Knight. He is a simple looking knight, but he comes with a second piece, his vomit. It is a gloppy looking mess that is shaped like legs, but has a face. You slide the vomit under his chin and the Puke Knight is oozing everywhere. Next up here is the OTMFG Zombie Faden. He came in a loose baggie, so there's no packaging to show off here. He looks like a zombie, met aliens, met Mega Man, and had a kid. He is rotting all over with a big long head and a mega buster on his right hand. This guy could be menacing if he weren't so small. Also from the OTMFG toy line is Toy Break. He is a little guy in a suit with a TV for a head and a microphone in his hand. On the TV, the words Toy Break appear. He obviously has a fitting name. Now let's take a look at Series 3. These guys came in a flesh color and were much easier to photograph. Let's start with Fruit Punch. He is a box of Fruit Punch with a face bulging out of the front of the box. His face looks mean and psychotic. He is wearing boxing gloves and he is looking like he is ready for a fight. I like this guy. He reminds me of something out of the old indie comic Milk and Cheese. Next up is Pugnacious. He looks like he came right out of the Masters of the Universe toy line. He has the head of a pug with a human-like muscular body. He has wrist bracers and loincloth that is very present in the Masters of the Universe toy line with cartoonish dog hands and feet. One detail I really like about this guy is his tail sticks right out the back of his loincloth. Tin Can is pretty much his namesake. He is a trash can that is mutated horribly. He has octopus tentacles for arms and a peg leg with a rotting shoe with a hole in his chest where his eyeball is sticking out from. He is grotesque and I love him. Speaking of grotesque, meet Dr. Decay. He is basically a rotting corpse with bubbling flesh melting off his body. He has a mushroom looking hat and staff and is standing in a very feminine pose. Maybe he's not a he after all. Last but not least here is Barbaronaut. Once again, this is another character that can easily fit in with the Masters of the Universe toy line. He is an astronaut with a muscular build, hairy loincloth, shield, and axe. 
I would love to see a six inch articulated version of this guy as he is hands down my favorite OMFG toy. So yeah, I decided to mix these toys and display them all over my collection. Take a look. feel about these guys they're wonderful I love them these are great little mini figures they just take me back to the days of when I was a kid and I would get the muscle men figures and I love them so much and this just really reminds me of that they're just so much fun and you can get them at octobertoys.com so that was it for my review please don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on Twitter at I have the power 82 check out my Facebook page and my new sponsor Nerdorama Network.com Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.